Life remembered today the family of 19-year-old Aluatoyan Salu is mourning her loss while celebrating her life. Salu was one of two women found dead two weeks ago. ABC 27's Christian Thomas takes us inside the funeral service. A very emotional day for those who knew Oluwatoye and Salau. The family saying their final goodbyes to Salau, someone they say was a kind soul and a warrior. The parents and family of 19-year-old Salau grieving the loss of their daughter and loved one. People filling the sanctuary honoring her Nigerian roots and spiritual background. Her program documenting photos of her at all stages of life. Words of comfort from her pastor, friends and former teachers expressed just how special Salau was to them. And parts of her others may not have known. She had a thirst and hunger for knowledge and she just she loved everybody. Her family says they are encouraged that Salau fought for the rights of so many near the end of her life and hope her legacy will continue. Representatives from Tallahassee Community Action Committee and other activist organizations were present. Salau's final resting place is here at Oakland Cemetery. In Tallahassee, Christian Thomas, ABC 27. Police say the other woman murdered was 75-year-old Vicki Sims. A celebration of life was held yesterday in Tallahassee for the mother and grandmother. Loved ones say Sims volunteered at AARP and the Second Harvest Food Bank. We're told she was also a lifelong activist in other community causes. Aaron Glee Jr. was arrested hours after police found the women's bodies on June 13th. He faces several charges including murder, kidnapping and sexual assault. Glee is being held at the Leon County Jail without bond. His next court date has not been scheduled.